good guys, this is SRC Javante. I'm back with another video. Today we're going to do holding the wheels, the calipers. Take off the, the lug nuts so I can get the wheels off and then clean them. Quite a lot easier. Oh First wheel coming off. It's heavy, boy. It's heavy? Oh, yeah. What is these? 305s? Yeah, 305. Half your hand. Yep. <laughs> you still got another hand to put down. Yep, the front got the two piece rotors. That's a big caliper. Woo! Take off the rears. We got all four wheels on. We about to clean them good. So we're gonna put that coated on. All right, guys. We cleaned the wheels yesterday, but it still have like a couple dirt spots and stuff and debris from last night. We're gonna just gonna clean it again. Make sure all that stuff is gone. Definitely, the front wheels definitely need this because they got these big brakes on them, and they kick up a lot of brake dust. And you definitely want to have something that makes it easy to clean. Because that brake dust is no joke. I only drove this car three times and it had like a lot of brake dust. Man, he cleaning the uh, Hellcat wheels. You gotta make sure all the dirt and grime gets off of it so we can coat it. Make sure that coating gets stuck onto the paint of the wheels. And that's for one year. Hot, cold is still going to perform as better. As y'all know, this engine runs very hot. So. You want this winter time, hot, heat, cold, we want this thing to be protected. You want these wheels to look good for years to come. All right, guys, I got my night cleaning the calipers. So we, we can, because we're also doing the brakes to coat them. But as you can see, he also cleaned the under. So you make sure everything is uh, underneath the car look clean. And then my brother over here, he over here making sure nothing's on the wheels, making sure all that glue stuff from the plastic is off the wheels. So after he's done with that, doing all four wheels, he gonna start putting the coat on on the on the wheels. Yeah, we gonna show you guys that stuff in a minute. How long, how long, how long these last? The coating? 12, one, 12 months, a year. 12 months? A year. How, how long do they have to dry? They only take an hour. Only an hour. Yep, so is... you just can't dry for hours. So after we done coating and wiping them off, you can just put them on the car and then leave it sit for an hour. All right, guys, so this is the wheel coating that we're going to be using, guys. This is the di Nano Diamond System, the Diamond Wheel Kit. It's made in Swiss, Switzerland. This actually just came out. And this is probably the ultimate best wheel coating that just came out. So guys, as you guys can see right here, this is 12 months hydro hydrophobic protection. It repels brake dust. You know, the front brake, the, uh, the brake dust on the front of the chargers is crazy. So that if it repels brake dust and road grime, all the tar and the debris and stuff all out on the road, it's going to repel all that and you and use amazing wheels. So it's going to look you're gonna have that amazing finish. Diamond Pro Tech is the company. Of course, it got YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Includes this is the whole kit. It comes includes diamond wheel wheels, diamond wheel body prep, a sprayer, applicator pad, microfiber towel, and it comes with gloves. Make sure you put gloves on. So you open it up. Boom. Comes with gloves. Got your gloves right here. Got your 
your prep so you're gonna it comes like a, a prep it so what the prep does is basically it clean degreases the wheel again it cleans any type of stuff and it also helps the wheel coating stick to the wheel so we're gonna use I'm gonna have to use this again spray it on this and wipe the whole wheel the barrel everything so we're gonna start with this let's get to it this is how the bottle looks you open this, pop goes the weasel, here, here it goes. So now we're gonna push down like we did before. Put this here, put this on in here, and then we're gonna screw it down tight. Make sure there ain't no air and stuff getting in there. And pop this off, and there we go. We got our diamond body prep ready. So let's go make it happen. Make sure you don't put the get it irritated in your eyes. May cause droniness, dizziness. Do not get in eyes or or on skin or what do on skin or on clothing. Keep out of reach of children. Oh man, let me go put the gloves on right now. Hold up. All right, guys. So got the gloves ready. Yeah, I have to run back and get them gloves. They give you extra ones too. That's what's up, bro. This company is legit. They give you extra gloves. So I'm gonna spray it on here. Start wiping it. Smell like alcohol. That's what it smells like. Some type of alcohol prep thing. I can see it start getting glossy. Mm -hmm. And what is it supposed to do? It's supposed to degrease and help the coating stick. Okay. Guys, yeah, so Javante gotta go run. I guess he said he got work today. He gotta go make some money real quick. But Hit the diamond body prep on this. Gotta turn the wheel back. Did the rear caliper, gotta love a brand new car. Prep that one, other side. It's all cleaned up, ready to go. All cleaned up, ready to go. This is the coating, diamond wheel coating from uh, Swiss, made in Switzerland. So what you have to do, it has like little balls at the bottom of it. You can probably see them. These two, you have to shake it for 15 seconds to activate the coating. So that's what we're gonna do. So I got my timer here for 15 seconds. And then I'm gonna click start. And then the coating's ready to go. So now I'm gonna just drip it on here and do the calipers. Then you wanna put this seal back on it and make sure it's tight so air and stuff don't come out. Wiping it on. Oh, those calipers are mean, bro. Yeah, some big calipers. You, I'm sorry, you don't mind me standing here watching, dude. Oh, no, no, you're good. Okay, I ain't, yeah, I know. I, I, man, that is a beast. Yes, sir. And have some big calipers, they're claiming 200 miles an hour, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You don't want to stop, right? <laughs> yep. I'm looking at all, the uh, rotors on that bad boy. Uh, it's big. Christ, boy. It's interesting. Yeah. Go ahead, but he's buffing off the coating, the excess. On the last caliper. So, this is my first time using this coating. So, I did just the face with the coating and wiped it on. So I'm gonna show you guys the process of when we do the last wheel of what I'm doing. But you just you just drip the coating on the pad and you wipe it on, and then you leave it for like two minutes, and then you wipe it off. But I don't know. Usually a coating you can start seeing it rainbowing, hazing, stuff like that. I really didn't see it. I don't know. It might be the color of the wheel or in the calipers is that deep deep red it did get very glossy for the calipers so it really made it like <laughs> things like glowing glossy so but i really can't see no hazing no colorful rainbow nothing like that i really can't really see that i've been trying looking i don't see no like hazing and stuff like that but i'm just timing it for that two minutes and it's pretty warm out here too so i'm 
I'm timing it for that two minutes and then I'm wiping the excess off, but I don't know. Can't really tell of any haziness, but let me go ahead because it's been past two minutes. I mean, I don't see no hot spots where it look like a watermark or nothing like that, but it's, I mean, it's good as I'm on a body prep, spraying it on here. I'm going to do one more last wipe down. I already did this, but I'm doing it one more time. So it comes on a little bit wet, but then it dries right away. So I'm doing the spokes. Comes on a little wet and then she dries. Then I'm going to do the corners and the crevices. And then I'm going to do the edge of the lip, the wheel. And I already did the inner barrel. Here's the diamond wheel coating. It's glass, so do not drop the bottle. You will ruin your day. So keep this close. And then we're going to start dripping it on this pad. This is, comes with the kit. Boom, 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 boom. So you want to fill it up. And then you want to put the cap on and tighten it down really good so it doesn't it's gonna snap twice snug it and then we're ready to go so this is gonna come on really wet so I'm gonna start in the center cap as I can see it's getting glossy and wet I'm gonna start doing the inner inside here too see look it's getting you can see how it comes on wet in the middle then I'm gonna come up here to the side, come back. Down in these edges from the brake dust. And there's a timer, set it for two minutes, start, and just leave us sit. So, like I said, Devontae, he's at work, he's making a Hellcat money. We taking over the uh, YouTube channel. So these are the air deflectors that come in the trunk when you buy the car new. We didn't have, well, they were close when we picked it up on Sunday. The, they were close to put these on, so we're going to put these on ourselves. So he's going to go ahead and open them up. And we're going to show you how to install them. I don't think there's even a video on YouTube on how to. Comes with instructions, bolts, everything. part number on top if y'all want to pause the video and stuff there you go y'all want to order them I should have came to order it for you with the car remove the front wheel take the back plate put it okay. in three quarter inch from this three quarter inch from that oh, okay from that thing yeah yeah i can see in the picture three quarter inch black plate should be should be placed three quarter inch away from the nut on the tension strut nice i'm gonna show you that right now so it should be somewhere right here and as you can see the cooler is right here let me try to make it bigger it's not that big but the air comes through here deflects here and hits the brakes and stuff or it's gonna hit the rotor it's gonna hit the rotor because remember this is two-piece it has holes on the side as y'all can see so air is gonna help cool this whole thing down so that's pretty sick that's a pretty sick engineering and design that they came up with so that's dope and it got like air deflector down here too it's like a hole hopefully y'all can see that look my hand going in here so got more cool in here got it for the radiator yeah that's the rad right there so and then the air thing is gonna be right here sitting I'm gonna go ahead and measure it. Three fourths. There we go. Cool. Right there. So you can see he marked it. And now. Now he just has to slide the backings already there. See, we come down here. Where the marker is. Right up right there. There we go. So 
So he's going to stick that on first. So I can see. supposed to touch it at all right no it's supposed to touch it so it needs to go back more uh just a little bit so i guess right there Ten mil and tighten them up. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side and show you the end. So we straighten up the wheels and this is how the air deflectors look as you guys can see with the wheel stray of course there's no clearance issue. Of course when it's locked it's gonna be a lot closer but it's still clear so that's dope. So that's how the driver's side looks. Cleaned up all in here. You guys can see there's a cooler right there. It deflects the air, hits the air deflector, and it hits the, the side of the rotor that has holes on the side. As y'all can see, little cracks on the side of the rotor. So that's too dope. Same thing with the other side. This one is good. Air comes through there. The flex is out of the way. Yeah, I can see. Cars back on the ground. We torqued them to 111 foot pounds for SRTs, Hellcats. And guys, I could definitely say it definitely has a different shine to it. Especially like when you see it, that shine is definitely different. Definitely got a different shine to it. Even that uh, red caliper, that thing is glowing, guys. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but that thing is glowing. Definitely looks brand spanking new, man. It's probably going to be the last time it looked clean dealing with, you know, Javante. But, definitely looks good. That caliper looks fresh, brand new too. That thing looks clean. But overall... Took a lot of time, especially ceramic coat in the calipers, ceramic coat in the wheels, and doing the air deflectors. Took a lot of time today, but make sure we did it correctly. Make sure the coatings on there really good, especially for this big 20-inch wheel with 305s on there. So we used that whole bottle on the calipers and the wheels, 
Yeah, man, whole bottle gone. I was like the barely at the last. Well, we actually had an extra bottle. I had an extra bottle and just used a little bit more. So two bottles, guys. Basically two bottles and a little bit more of the next bottle. So definitely got to test out this. We'll keep you guys updated on this ceramic coating. I'll let Javante know. Javante is working right now. So he's definitely going to be dropping more videos. You're going to have weekends off starting the next following weekend. He's going to have all weekends off from now on. So you're going to be able to upload more videos for you guys. So guys, get him to a thousand subscribers. Hit the like button. Share the video. Hey, man. Y'all show him support, man. He can make some sick videos for y'all. Burnouts. Help with pay, some, pay for some of these tires. You know what I mean? These joints is not cheap. So hit the like button.